you've come for us so soon. What a shame. I knew she was a bit under the weather, but... Tell you what, I didn't know you could die from chlamydia. <laughs> I joke, but seriously, it is very sad. I'll just get her down. Sarah? Sarah? I think your reefer's here for you. I said, I think your reefer's here for you. Sorry about this, the heifer's Stevie Wonder. Well, just finish up and come downstairs. I was making a brew, do you want one? Oh, fuck. I knew that bastard milk tasted funny. Oh well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. If it's my time to go, it's my time to go. Could, could I just see that that photo, please? Oh wow, well, I suppose uh, I suppose that does kind of look a little tiny bit. Yeah, not much, mate, you? Well, to be honest with you, Dave... Actually, I just have one question. You know if you were to forget to collect someone or lose a time or something like that, what would happen? Uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Oh, actually, I think that happened to Jerry a few centuries ago, but I think he only got demoted down to IT support. Why? You, you haven't lost anyone, have you? <laughs> no, no, of course not. No. Anyway, uh, I've got to go. Look after my nan's parrot, yeah. She's on holiday in Corfu. Oh, wow. I've never actually seen a parrot before. Can I come with? No. It's very vicious. Yes. They've been known to chew bones. Sometimes I have to wear protective gear. Yeah. Maybe some other time, hey? Yeah. Actually, Dave, I don't think, I don't think <laughs> that's right about, about the Sorry. parrot. Coming! Oh, 
and not today, thank you. Feeling uh, feeling very healthy. No, no dying for me today. I'm afraid. Uh, feeling so. I was actually just doing some exercise. You see, I very. Uh, <clears throat> oh no, that wasn't a cough. Just clearing my throat. Uh, so healthy. Gosh, I. Uh, oh, 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 wait, oh. wait. We are introducing a new system at Sticks Four. From now on, we will be uh, surveying the living space of all our clients to estimate a more accurate time of death. You have been selected as the first try. Does that uh, sound sound good? Okay. Thank you. You want to see the bed? Ah! Mr. Ethley, what are you doing? Let me see that. Ah, just as I thought. You haven't written anything about my house. This isn't MTV Cribs. This is MTV Fibs. I expected better of Sticks Corp, Mr. Ethley. I did not live through two world wars just to be bonked off by some administratively challenged mortician. Give me your manager's facsimile number. Now. Now. Please. I can explain. Well, Davy, my boy, that's quite a story. Especially like the part with the parrot. But you could have left out the parts about you urinating. Sorry. Liquids go right through me. <laughs> However, from your perspective, I see that you have two choices. You could put the sand timer back under the desk. I mean, if no one's noticed by now, then who's to notice? Or you could reap me now. But I think it might make your paperwork look a little bit irregular. Besides, I haven't finished watching this episode of The Tipping Point. I think you're just gonna have to let me live forever, man. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Ah, uh, good chap. I'm glad you could see it my way, old boy. I'll see you soon. Not too soon, I hope. Anyway, have a good evening, yes. Have a good sleep. Uh, do you sleep? Do you sleep? No. Uh, uh, eternal sleep, I see. Ah, uh, uh, you live in a timeless void that only partially intersects our reality. I see, yes. That makes sense to me. Anyway, good night. Have a good... Uh... Oh, it's getting too complicated for me. I'll, I'll just stick with goodbye. Eh? Uh, see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>